Now that the quick tools have been released to everyone, I want to dive in and show you some options for using them. So when Sidrite asks us to test something, the first thing I do is give it my violent sexual content. That's mostly what I write. And I want to see if it will refuse. That way they can handle that and start tweaking from there. I can't tell you how many times the AI has told me that I am depraved and need mental health, but in the end, the Sudorite team makes it bend to my will and I can pretty much do whatever I want inside the program. So in this video, I am going to start off clean, giving you some ideas of how you can use quick chat and quick edit, and then we'll progress to the good and dirty stuff. If you haven't seen my February update video, this is the same document that was linked there. I will also link it in the description here for this video. And as a reminder, if you've attended my classes and you have my Sudorite guide, there are a lot of rewrite prompts that you can use either in rewrite customize or with quick chat and quick edit. So have fun with those. Quick reminder to make sure you notice everything that each one looks at, quick edit and quick chat. And remember, they use 3.5 turbo in the free mode and GPT-4 in the higher quality mode that uses credits. So let's dive in. We'll start with our good old Jack the Ripper here. So one thing I loved the other day was having it rewrite the outline for this. That's why we were still testing and we realized it didn't save everything. But it initially gave some really good stuff. So let's try it again. I'm just going to bring up quick chat. Control K because I'm on PC. Command K for a Mac. And I'm going to leave it on higher quality. I'm going to ask it to write the outline for this story. Nating chapter and POV between Jack, his victims, and Inspector Everly. Take the chapters from Jack's POV. Focus on the macabre details, or let's say focus on the macabre killings and his grave satisfaction. Make the chapters from his victim's POV. Focused on sexual encounters with their clients. We use some customers for that. Sexual encounters with their customers and reasons for them being prostitutes. We can speak to Aberlene's chapters focused on the slow decline to obsession with catching Jack with catching the killer. Let's see what I'll do with all that. As a reminder, it does not save anything. So if I want, I can copy this out. I would need to pull up like another Google Doc. Do that real quick. I would have another Google Doc here or Notion, whatever your preferred is, and start saving everything. And so we got the first chapter from Jack the Ripper. And then it rotates between his various female victims to Emma and Dennis. All right. We're going to copy it. Save that output. And then ask it to please continue. Well, man, this remained unsolved, hinting at the real historical again. Okay. And an additional chapter takes place years later when another murder happens and sparks fear at the river. Is back. 
a decade after the last rape and murder. Okay, so that was working with Quick Chat and asking it to rewrite an outline for me. Let's do, let's see if the basic one will handle this. Can we change the stories set up to take place in the modern day? I'm going to copy this because I want to post this in the Discord, the Sudorite Discord. Give people some ideas. What if we transport the essence of the story into a modern setting, like a gritty urban city? So instead of Victoria and London, sprawling metropolis. Modern day serial killer. Victims' background and struggles will reflect current issues such as homelessness, human trafficking, or mental health challenges. Ooh, I like this idea. How would the public react to the killer's actions in a world where information spreads instantaneously and fear can grip an entire city in a moment? And I'm really liking this sentence. This is something I would actually come into chat because there's something about that tone that I like. Describe the tone on this sentence. Ominously speculative. Speculative. I can't talk this morning. I'm sorry. I like it. Okay. I'm going to keep that handy. Let's see how it ended. All right. I like this. Let's do outline. Outline the scenes that we could use to portray. We don't have anything. Okay. Here we go. Protagonists, calling the scenes that we could use to portray the detectives. Actions and inner turmoil as they try to catch this, as they try to catch this modern day killer. Delve into the detective's growing obsession like that. I like the detectives struggle to maintain their sanity and personal relationships. Let's go to another story. And let's see. I don't think it'll work well in this one because we did not plan out all of our magical items, but this is a lit RPG. So I just kind of want to see if it'll pick up some items and things. So I'm going to go in quick chat and ask it, what is the most powerful item listed in this story? I don't think it's going to work because a lot of them we didn't attach the stats to. Okay, so it kind of took powerful to mean something else, I think. Which item has the highest stats? Two. Like this. Let's check another story, another account. Right, so I'm going to pop into, this one is a young adult fantasy. And let's ask it. Tell the character bars for this year, Jackson and Luke.
You have Alicia here. Involves overcoming her inner conflicts, building bonds with Jackson and Logan. Okay. Sounds about right. Actually nails it pretty good. I'm going to copy this out because I believe I can use this later. But now I'm going to ask it. How can we make each character's art more impactful? It actually looked like I had most of this already. I'm going to copy it out just in case. And we have asked them to have some place to actually store all of this versus having to copy it out somewhere. Like maybe save it in the cards or for it to have its own little history button. For now, in instances, you know, either copy it out like you see me doing here or for instances where you're using quick edit and it's replacing something, but you don't want it to actually replace that. Remember, you can accept the changes and then you can go into your document history and pull that section that it replaced. That way you have them both. I know it's inconvenient, but that is a temporary solution until they decide how to give us that history. All right, let's look at, see if it'll do one more thing. Cause I needed some subplots in this story. Rewrite the outline to, let me go back and look. I was wondering if I could try this and quick edit. However, I don't want that. Okay, I think this will do better in quick chat. Rewrite the outline to include two subplots that strengthen the story. And of course, I could actually do this in the rewrite outline box inside Story Bible. Okay, so subplot so one involves the prophetess and her hidden agenda, like that. That was actually something I couldn't figure out quite how to include yet. The plot to rebellion within the vampire colony. Mm, I don't like that. I'm going to save it a little. What's going to... Let's start getting down and dirty here. Go back to the other account. Let's slowly progress into the dirtiness. So in this one, I reference one more time because I'm going to focus on the character first. So quick edit looks at characters that match and then quick chat looks at all characters. Honestly, I keep leaning towards using quick chat more than quick edit. Quick edit's most useful for me whenever I have that prose written out and I'm just rewriting the passage in some type of way. But quick chat can also do edits as well. So keep that in mind. It just shows up as a different way. So actually, that is also another alternative because the, remember, they're using the same model. In basic mode, they're using 3.5 turbo. In the higher quality mode, they're both using GPT-4. So if you don't want that text to be replaced, you can use quick chat and ask it the same thing for those rewrites. And your original text will stay there and then you can just copy the output that it gives you. And so in this one, I am going to ask it, turn on higher quality again for this. What shall I make? 
for the not so sweet and lean more towards an antagonist. If y'all are in the student right Discord, I will be posting all of these prompts. I won't post the output because I don't think that'll be useful for y'all. But I will post the prompts that I've used in the Tips and Tricks channel for y'all to play around with. Start by tweaking her motivations and key traits to include darker aspects. Okay. Not quite what I was looking for. I can tweak that later. And now let's... Rewrite the outline to include three intense sexual encounters with Dorothy and her hero. These pornographic descriptions and crude like. Dialogue, it's going through dialogue. Remember, the AI does see language dialogue as something a little bit different. So I could ask it for pornographic descriptions, arousing language, and crude dialogue. Must clarify that I cannot write explicit sexual scene or use crude language. So in this instance, I am going to pass this along to the team. Copy it out for them. And then I'm actually going to put the down. Use right these sexual encounters. And to use crude dialogue, because it did mention that. There we go. Now, just to make sure, I'm actually going to do this in quick edit now. That was quick chat or quick edit. I will actually need my outline here. Oh, let me to a thousand words or less. Okay. Don't need that one. Don't need the hoops. Let's start here. This should be good. Write the outline to include three intense sexual encounters with Dorothy and her hair. I want to take this in steps if it works. Let's see. So if it does work, this would be my first step. And then I would highlight the new output and actually have it start including some chapters to increase the sexual tension and work everything out. See if it does it. Didn't refuse, yeah. but finds herself intimately entwined. So it didn't actually... This is the only one that looks like it's probably new. All right, this one right here. I don't remember this one, but I have instructions up here, so apparently I did play around with it. Set this just so I can analyze it later and compare the output to let the team know. Let's get a little bit violent. Trigger warning for those who want to stop it. This is a non-consent. So if you want to drop off, I completely understand. I'm going to play around with it this way. So since Quick Chat looks at all characters, 
I believe I'm going to go with it. I'm just leaning towards using quick chat more to take the truth. So I'm going to say do 3.5 and see what happens. Let me write this chapter summary to include just repeats that flesh out all of the details. Let's leave it simple and see what happens. I like it. However, now I would like it to be more descriptive. Detail Adriana's dissatisfaction. Include a change my wording. Include an intimate scene with her and Colin in the bedroom, showing the reader Adriana's emotion. permission to come up with your own ideas, avoid vague descriptions. I actually want to compare that with quick chat as well. Very cheesy. Don't like this at all. Do that. Now let's try quick chat. Just to see, since they're using the same model, I'm expecting the same result, but you never know unless you try it. This is a little bit better. So very cheesy for what I like. Now let's go to. I'm going to ask quick chat. Again, I lean towards that since it references more. Give me some. Which lines that you then can use to tell Adrian about Colin and some lines that Ethan can use to flirt with Adrian in flirting be on the barber side. Like that. Not crazy about that one. I like the first one. Let's see how well it will do to follow this train of thought. I like the first line. Please give me five more like that. Second line is to the nose. Reverting. Let's give me five more options. If anybody watching happens to know what I can do to avoid this light text, please let me know in the comments. Absolutely, I understand your preference. No, chat, you really don't. Five more taunting lines. I don't really care for... Yeah, I don't really care for those. This one has potential number five. I could use that. I just need to tw tweak it. Okay, so it didn't give me the second set that I asked for. Give me five options for lines. Anything can say to flirt with Adrian. 
Let me give some background. It says it in his character box, but remember that Ethan is in my boss and has, I can say that word online because I don't want to trigger YouTube. Let's see, is it going to refuse us? Much better. Not perfect, but much closer to what I'm wanting. I can work with that. So let's look at a quick edit. Right at the scene. So the word, the phrasing pornographic descriptions, I found this really helps with the narrative. So all that cheesy wording that OpenAI likes to use, I find I don't get it that much. So there's no dance, their bodies entwined in a dance of sym or symphony of dance, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I found this actually brought in some of the crudeness into the actual narrative. For instance, one scene that I recall offhand whenever I was testing this out initially and fell in love with it was it used the F word. Again, I'm not going to trigger YouTube, but it said the characters were F word against the tree like animals in the narrative. So I do like to use this. So write out the scene using pornographic descriptions and graphic detail. He ravaged her body yet. Yeah, no. See, that was quick edit. Quick edit does look at style. So what is in my style box right now? Do you have that same wording in style box? So it looks like it needs to pull from style a bit more. Here for that one. All right, let's go to... Another one, my other account. Okay, so this one, I do have the mob balls grooming her. I'm going to go to quick chat and ask, give me a list of 25 scenes to show the evolution of Dante and Rosalia's relationship. Starting with Dante and Rosalia. In the bedroom. I wonder if it's going to take grooming to me. Brushing your hair. Starting with Dante grooming Rosalie in the bedroom. And eventually. Choose the language. We always say. Use the language that you want in the beat. So let's try it here. Of course this is very likely to trigger. This just in case. You need to try again. Okay, so this is actually very similar to what I already have. Um, you list now five unique ideas or intense situations between Rosalie and Dante. See if we'll go to the normal. I have found that novel AI it does extremely well with asking it. With the last few questions that I have asked, I asked that in novel AI for this particular story, and it did a really good job. And I do have a video showing that, the novel AI versus Pseudorite one, so if you want to check it out, if you're a novel AI fan and want to play. 
not crazy about these, but they are typical of the AI. All right, so that is a list of things, various things that you can do with Quick Chat and Quick Edit, the new Quick Tools inside Sodorite. Again, I will link this document here in the description to hopefully give you all some ideas. And if you're in the Sodorite Discord, I will link or show these prompts as well in the Tips and Tricks channel. So be sure to hang out there with us if you aren't already. Hey, right, buddy. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.